Well, hey there, and thanks for tuning in to Solitude Acres. Today, I am here with my dad, and he's going to show us how to do a sugar patty. This is something that you've seen on our previous videos that we've done, especially our most couple most recent videos that we've used to feed our bees right now in their hive, especially when there isn't a lot of pollen and a lot of nectar and other things for them to take from yet. So we just use that to really strengthen them and give them an extra source of food. So we're going to show you kind of how to walk through that today. The initial steps are really maybe take about 10 minutes and then you have to let it harden once you get it set. You know, then we'll come back to it later and kind of show you what it's like um, in the next couple hours. But we just want to let you know the first steps of it. So he's just going to walk us through how to do that. We'll put a link to the recipe. It actually comes from Dave Burns. It's one of the recipes he has for his uh, Winter Be Kind he makes that he uses all winter long up in Michigan, I think, or Illinois. I can't remember where he's at. 12 ounces of water, four pounds of sugar. You'll just have to look that up to see what that equates to in cups. <laughs> I've seen all sorts of stuff. Once we make it all and get it all dissolved, and it has to get up to 250 degrees before you can pour it out. I normally sprinkle some pollen on the bottom of the uh, sheet we have here. It's a cookie sheet or a sheet cake pan, I guess, um, that has, um, what is this paper called? Parchment, Parchment, Parchment paper. Parchment paper. Yeah. We sprinkle that on. Then we put a teaspoon of Honey Be Healthy and Amino Booster. You can put whatever you want. And so this is what we add to ours. Honey Be Healthy and Amino B Booster. You can put whatever additives if you want. Just do them in teaspoon amounts in there. I wouldn't overdo it with stuff, but a little bit helps the bees and gives them some nutrition in this board. So we're going to get this started. I actually had the water fairly hot, so it shouldn't take long to get that going. Okay, so here's the sugar. Four pounds of sugar. We just dump it in there. Okay, so we stir this up. We'll get the heat up a little bit more so it'll melt quicker. You know this is doing well when it gets really clear. We'll get it all liquidy before we actually put the thermometer in. And it's just a candy thermometer. You have to get it up to 250 degrees. But it just takes a little bit for this to start dissolving. The more the sugar melts, the more liquidy it gets. Winter Be Kind board is what Dave Burns makes. He custom makes those, the boards, and he actually sells the boards with the candy already on it and he ships it to you that way but you can go to his website well if you go to his youtube channel that dave burns he actually shows those boards so this is the directions that we're following right now i actually got four boards from him to try it out the boards i actually ordered them online from him i just wanted to try them and see how they did he has great success because he's up in the north and he feeds his bees during the winter with this two or three of these boards in the winter and it actually worked really well for him. He comes out of winter. He's always saying he's never had a problem since he's been doing it. Go to his website or go to his YouTube channel and check that out. And we'll link that below. And if you have a thermometer like this, I'd recommend before you even put this thing in here, pull this clip off, pinch that down and make sure it's tight around. So it doesn't slide in. So it doesn't slide off because I've gone to pick it up and the thermometer went right down in there. Ooh going up slowly yeah it takes a little bit yeah it's getting more liquidy now so while that's getting heated up that's going to take a few minutes i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this uh pollen substitute on here that's just to give something underneath here the rest we'll put a teaspoon of it in there in a little bit to mix it up in it but this just gives a little bit on there that they can taste quicker and it's not buried inside the candy. So the pollen substitute is Ultra B that we use. There's probably other products out there, but that's what we have. So that's what we were using. The Honey Be Healthy and the two Honey Be Healthy products, one's the Amino uh, B Booster and the other is just the Honey Be Healthy. Most bee supply places that supply any type of substitutes or any good supply house for bees should have, should sell this. If not, you can find it online too. So as you can tell, this bubbles a lot, especially near the end. It is clearing up. We'll see it when it calms down, how clear it is. We're right there at 250, so we're going to turn it off. Stick in our approximate thing of teaspoon of pollen powder. I 
honey be healthy, which usually sometimes makes a funny noise when you drop it in. Anytime you add anything, like it's basic. Alcohol. Yeah, you're making a candy, so anybody that's vanilla made extract. candy knows how this works. Oh yes, definitely vanilla extract. We're stirring this in, trying to get that pollen mixed in and getting everything kind of more even. The two additives in there. The wet spread out evenly. Probably could have turned it off a second sooner, but it'll work. Because obviously, even when you turn it off, the temperature still is going up for a second. Yeah, and so, I think you did it right before 250, though. Right. So. so, what we do is we just pour this in here, kind of start in the corners. What I found out, the paper likes to crumple. I go through and kind press of, it into the corners. Yeah, press it into the edges. Unfortunately, this pan's warped. So if you have a pan that does that, which a lot of them do over time, you want to kind of keep this even thickness across it. So what There's I will a do... a little bit more in the pan. Did you want to scrape it? Yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm just going to stick something under this end because this is the end that usually is thicker. So it's kind of more even thickness all the way across. I'm going to try and get some of this out with a rubber spatula. It's already hardening up in the pan. So you can see where those specks of pollen are in there. That's what the bees will go after first. Now it'll just sit there for an hour or something. I like putting it on a uh, on a cooling tray, cooling rack. That way air can get underneath and it cools it off. I actually, the last one I made, it took forever to cool because I didn't have that underneath. Like, oh yeah, I gotta put that under there. So and once it's done cooling, we'll come back and show you how we cut it up. All right. Okay, we're back at the uh, candy patty. You can use a knife. I've got an uli. I like scoring it a few times. If you wait too long, then it still may crack even on me. It may be too hard. If you score it some, it has a tendency of breaking along the lines better than cracking. But you can tell it's pretty hard. <laughs> it may be too hard without cracking, but if it cracks, it cracks. So basically I try and whittle the uli down a little bit. Uli, maybe it's called a uli. I can't remember. Ask the Eskimos. So I just kind of work this back and forth and it'll eventually, kind of like you do a glass, eventually it'll just kind of break. It looks like this is going to break okay. So that splits apart. I just make this into fours because these are the size of patties I put on. The key is make sure you get all the way up to the edge because that's sometimes where it breaks because it's the thinnest. So scroll it good there. You can feel if it's a little softer. There it goes. A little softer in the bottom. That's not quite hard and had not been dried out to the air. And then it'll break through really good. Oops, see that one cracked. I went too hard. Oh well. I think I've had one crack every time. So basically just pull that out. And that's your patty. And then all I do is I just put them on some parchment paper just so they're not together. Cover them up. You can get two to three of these in a gallon baggie, Ziploc bag. Stick them in the freezer. Keep them there until you need them. So that's how you make sugar patties. Hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, hope you have a blessed day.